Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a great start to your Wednesday. We've been live on the go at the Stroll on State workshop, and we've been giving you details about Stroll on State this year, November 25th. I think that's a prime example on how fast this year is going. We just jumped into the fall season, and now we're talking Stroll on State 51 days away. As you can see here, we've been giving you a tour of the workshop and also helping out with some of the projects here, painting some of the present boxes and also putting together some of those 3D bows. But what you're seeing is some of them on the shelf there. And then behind our cameraman is all the ornaments and all the decorations that are going to go on the big tree. So we're upstairs now, but later in a little bit, we're going to go downstairs and give you a preview on some of the other stuff that you can see later on on Stroll on State. Again, they are looking for volunteers to help put up the decorations on November 17th and 18th. But let's show you what we're going to see in the next couple of days because it really hasn't felt all like fall the past four days. In fact, our average high going in the last four days has been 86 degrees. That's about 15 to 20 degrees above early October standards. And then as we look in the next four days, completely different, feeling a much more fall like thanks to a couple of cold fronts, we'll see average high over the next four days of 67 degrees. So dropping two more of that early October standard. Now, as we look outside this morning, we do have temperatures in the upper 60s and low 70s. Taking a live look at our SkyTrack camera over downtown Rockford presented by Window World. We are starting off with a lot of cloud cover. We did see clouds drift in during the evening yesterday, turning skies mostly cloudy overnight, but thankfully we haven't seen much in the way of rain just yet. There is going to be the possibility for a few showers midday into the afternoon. So after topping out at 86 yesterday, we're going to see temperatures this morning in the upper 60s and low 70s. 70 degrees in Rockford. We're at 72 in Janesville, 70 in Savannah, and 60 67 degrees in Galena. So starting off on a warm note, but as we go into the afternoon, we will see cooler temperatures. Temperatures will struggle to make their way into the 80s. We'll top out around 79. Mostly cloudy skies. That chance for a few light showers moves in midday into the afternoon, and it's also going to be breezy. So that's one of the reasons why we do stay warm this afternoon is that breeze, and we could also see a few peaks of sunshine. So let's get into future cast here, show you that chance for showers, even rain for the overnight hours. As we go into three o'clock this afternoon, you do see cloud cover and that chance for rain going down a bit, but I do think there will be an opportunity for a passing shower or two. Once we get into overnight, there's going to be a cold front coming in and that will bring us a better shot at a little more steady rain, especially to our south and east. And that's where we expect the heaviest rainfall to occur is to the south and east of Rockford. We should dry out by tomorrow afternoon. We'll see temperatures in the low 70s, some sunshine for Thursday afternoon, and then take a look on the temperature dip that happens after that second cold front. That cool air rushes in, dropping us into the upper 50s for Friday and Saturday. Overnight lows, they're going to drop into the upper 30s for Saturday night and Sunday night. So we're going to be in on a more fall-like weekend after a couple of days in the upper 80s, and it looks like we stay with that cooler stretch into next week. Week. But we're live here for Stroll on State. I know we're skipping Halloween and Thanksgiving going right to Christmas. We're showing you some of the stuff you can see if you're going to be headed there November 25th. I'll send it back to David in the studio. I'm not going to make too many people very happy about skipping Halloween and Thanksgiving. A lot of people love those holidays, but they also love Stroll on State, so I guess it's worth it.